Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B-plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 419-899-2020. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2002 Pleasure Way Excel TS with dual rear wheels and 67,906 miles. Alrighty folks, here we are inside of this 2002 Pleasure Way Excel TS. As usual, we're going to start in the front, work our way towards the rear, try to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976, started by Levi and I's mom and dad. Today, we specialize in hard-to-find small motorhomes like this Pleasure Way. All of these units go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We do our very best to make sure these RVs are ready to go. We do consider ourselves a no-pressure dealer. You're welcome to spend as long or as little as you'd like during our regular hours looking at these RVs. We're happy to go through them with you or give you space to look at them on your own. Got a couple blemishes on the cabinet doors. Got a mix of hard surface and carpet flooring. We do have some age on the carpet, although not nearly as bad as what you see on a lot of 2002 units. Table mount in the front. Do you have a table behind the driver's seat there? Easily accessible entryway, stash spot in the door, fire extinguisher, porch light, as well as a light switch for some of the overhead lights. We've got a window that does open. It does not have a screen. Got the levels test for the gray, black, fresh water tank and the coach battery. Got your water pump switch to turn on and off the water pump. That will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank to your sink, shower, toilet. The start stop switch for the Onan 2800 generator. That has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Water heater start stop switch, noxious gas detector. Stepping into the kitchen area, got a single basin sink, two burner cooktop, aluminum backsplash, got a spice rack there. We do have a window that does open with a blind. There's your water pump. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. So the freezer portion is up top here. Three-way meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC meaning your coach battery. You will need something to charge that coach battery like while you're driving your alternator or propane gas. You can leave this on auto here on the control panel. We'd recommend that and that will do its best to keep you cold. Got a 110 outlet there. Two drawers your propane furnace that gets the heat from the propane and uses the coach battery to run the fan so your power connections there stepping into the rear of the coach go ahead and check out the compartments before we check out the bed This is a power sofa, so you'll just push a button over here and this will run this sofa up and down to make it into a bed. Go ahead and drop some pictures and let you see what that looks like. The twin sleepers measure approximately 72 inches long and 26 inches wide on the driver's side and 70 inches long by 26 inches wide on the passenger side. This is a very popular sleeping setup in a camper van as it allows you to easily swing your legs out at night and go to the bathroom without crawling over one another. If you make up the big bed in the back using the board in the closet behind the driver's seat, it will measure approximately 70 inches front to back and 81 inches side to side. This unit is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction in the bed if so desired. 
We've got some storage beneath the couch in the rear. That's your table mount in the center. That's your fuse panel. Another noxious gas detector. Another storage bin and a 110 outlet. Here we are sitting in the couch bed at the rear of the RV. Whenever the cashier at the grocery store asks my dad if he would like his milk in a bag, he replies, no thank you, just leave it in the carton. We've got the fantastic fan overhead in the center that runs off of the coach battery, can act like an attic fan at night. If you open the windows, that will bring the cool outside air in. It can also act like an exhaust fan for the restroom, which we'll check out here momentarily. We've got the ATV area here, the DVD players in this compartment. We've got a compartment here. Go ahead and show you how this swivel TV works. So the TV can swivel to face the front. The driver and passenger chairs both have a swivel function. However, the passenger seat is going to get a lot better positioning due to the steering wheel and the cabinet behind the driver's seat. You can watch the TV from the front in case you have people that get up at two different times in the morning. Behind the TV, we've also got a 110 plug and some storage. Here in the rear, we do have windows on the driver and passenger side that have screened portions on the lower. The rear windows do not open. However, we do have the cloth shades or blinds all the way around or curtains, whatever you'd like to call them. So windows with screens on the lower on the driver and the passenger, the rear windows do not open. We've got speakers in the back, one on the passenger as well as one on the driver's side. Got some lights here as well that you can turn on and off while you're in bed. Back to the speakers though, the speakers run off of the head unit up in the cabin area. So whatever you're listening to up front will also play through these speakers in the rear. The TV will play through the speakers on the TV itself. We've got that power switch for the power sofa, TV remote. We've got the thermostat that controls the propane furnace, which is across the way. The controls for the AC are up on the AC itself. So the AC is right overhead in the rear. You can see the knob controls there. The AC does run off of the generator or shore power only. The lights you see throughout this coach do have some funny colors going on. They are LED bulbs. They're just varying shades of white. I'm going to step towards the driver's side and check out the bathroom. Got a 110 outlet. It's your shower head there. Three drawers like so. Some RV tissue paper as well as some storage. Easily accessible step into the world famous Pleasure Way wet bath here. It's your shower curtain that goes around. Go ahead and step inside. I'll show you that a 6'3", 230, 240 pound guy can fit in here. It's not as big as the restroom at Caesars Palace, but definitely serviceable. You've got the window with the screen that opens here. Got a microwave oven. The microwave will run off of the shore power or generator only. You can run the generator while you're boondocking. Got a wardrobe closet here. We got the board on the right that makes up the big bed in the back. Got a table leg some reflectors for the windshield and windows, as well as a larger rectangular table here. Got a stash railing there. Got your manuals in a road trek bag. I think that's kind of funny being a pleasure way. Got the track that has a privacy curtain that goes all the way around the front to provide privacy from the front. Got a really nice unit here, a rare unit having dual rear wheels in this pleasure way. A very, very fine specimen for a 2002. The previous owner was from Texas, had this unit since 2010. Does show some age as any 2002 would. We'll go over the outside tour, but very, very minimal blemishes inside. It's gone through our full inspection process. I'm gonna call this one a nine out of 10. Again, that's a nine out of 10. Check it out at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player, cassette player. Funny burns, marks, it's your glove compartment there, clean carpet, 
tough to say for sure as some people have more sensitive noses than others, but I would call this one a non-smoker. The cigarette ashtray is unused. All right, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2002 Pleasure Way Excel TS. This RV measures 20 feet bumper to bumper, has an 11 foot manual Fiamma awning, has tires with a date code of 1519. This RV is built on a Ford E350 chassis, a 5.4 liter V8 engine with 67,906 miles. Small boo-boo there. Do have some blemishes on the stripes throughout, not a bad looking unit. We picked this up out of Texas. The previous owner had it since 2010. Show you some of these stripes on the awning. Got your porch light, back of your refrigerator. Got your coach battery down here on the drawer slide. Furnace exhaust. We do have the dual rear wheel conversion. That was done professionally by Aerocraft. We have two 110 outlets in case you'd like to plug something in beneath the awning. That storage compartment with an extension cord, some levelers, and some other goodies. Coming around to the back of the RV, got your AC up top. You can open the rear doors to let some air in. You also have some storage here. Got your awning crank there. We've got the coach battery disconnect here that turns on and off the coach battery that will disconnect it to prevent parasitic charge. Also disconnects the charging systems, which are your shore power plug-in, your generator, or your alternator while you're driving. We do have a tow package. Again, we got those dual rear wheels on this one. Nice clean Texas unit. We got your fresh water fill for the onboard fresh water tank, back of the water heater. Storage bit here with a fresh water hose. The sewer hose storage has been plugged, so that is not there any longer. Got an outside shower here. Wash your shoes off at the beach, wash kids or pets off. Fuel fill for the onboard generator as well as the engine. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank. Got your sewer outlet here. Got the poles for those here, so the black and the gray. Pull the black first, let the toilet go. Then the gray, that'll push everything out with the sink and shower water. Got your propane tank here, on and off valve. Got a gauge. This is where the people that sell you the propane will fill it. Shore power cord goes in just like so. Got your city water connection where you'll run the water hose in that will bypass the fresh water tank as well as provide the pressure to your sinks, shower, and toilet. TV connection. Got an Onan generator, that's a 2800 with a fresh service and fresh oil change by our certified Onan technicians. Just a closer look at the stripes. Good looking unit, very clean, but not perfect, just like any RV, but still very, very, very sharp unit. Lots of shine left on the paint. Us Coon kids have sure had our share of camping trips over the years. Here's Dad with the oldest two Coon kids, Kara and Kelly, getting ready for an RV adventure to the Smoky Mountains circa 1984.